Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! here. I have some cute little cards to show you using the Cutest Cows uh, stamp set. Um, this is in the new mini catalog. And uh, I've got three cards to show you and one is going to be a tutorial. So um, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I still have the card kits available for $50 and $100 purchases at my um, website and please all as always use the hostess code if it's under $150 in merchandise purchase so um, I do have my hostess code is always down below in the descriptions just so you know that um, also I think I'm going to extend my free card kits through uh, February so um, if you have uh, any orders through February, I'm going to continue to give my little card kits out. So just so you know that I have enough left. So um, let me show you the first card I made. I did use some retired uh, products in this. Uh, this was sort of cased from a Christmas card that I found on one of the groups that I'm in on Facebook. And she did not have a blog, so I can't share that. But um this is the um, the Christmas barn that was from last year, okay? And so I did that on the inside. I did use some stickles there. You know me, I always like the stickles. And the cow is wearing a hat and scarf, which came from the Barry Cute that just retired, okay? And how moo doing, I, ca I printed that out on the computer. And then the embossing folder is the snowflake 3d embossing folder okay so i made this for my aunt um she is 90 years old and she lives in minnesota and her and her husband had a dairy farm when we were growing up so i thought this would really be kind of cute to send to her with a little cow and a wintry scene since it's so cold up there so um anyway i will put in the description below what exactly I used for this card uh, in case you want to um, make one. The second card is this one here and this one I did use the um, Hills of Tuscany this new set I love this set um, I did use that for the background and then I also used Bright Skies Bundle. Okay, so I used the uh, star, I mean star, the sun here and the little cloud die right here. Okay, for the cloud. Now, what I did for the sun, you know me, I don't like how it cuts, the, the dies cut white around the edge. So I actually... Um, colored the rest of it in with yellow so um, that is how I did that um, I did use the um, daffodil delight and then I used the pumpkin pie marker to go over to make the orange part on that so that's what I did on that sending you sunny thoughts comes from trucking along okay and then of course I used the um, deckled rectangles for this as well and I forgot to mention um, this cut out here is the deckled circle dies I forgot to mention that one all right and so that's my second card let me get rid of all of these because we don't need them anymore and my third card which is what we're going to make today is a valentine and I found um inspiration and I, I always forget to print it out I should have printed it out but I found a card uh, online that used this sentiment and I wanted to copy it it looks completely different than hers and it was not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator but I'll still put the link below so that you can see the card it was super cute um, and so it says I love you till the cows come home happy Valentine's Day so I just thought this was really cute. This is what we're going to make today. Um, so the Till the Cows Come Home, I did that on the computer. There's no stamp for that from Stampin' Up. Um, so that is what we are making. So let me show you what we need. 
Of course, we need the um, cow. Whoops, wait a minute. I think I put my cutest cows aside. Okay, so we need cutest cows. All right. Um, I Love You comes from the Country Bouquet that is in the annual catalog. And then the flowers on the cow's head comes from the Easter Bunny set. And I will show you what I did. I, I stamped it and then I fussy cutted a lot of it off so that it was small enough for her head here. Okay. And then the background, I did use the Hills of Tuscany, this stamp here for the clouds. Okay. So, and then, oh yes. And then the deckled circle dies as well. Okay. So I have everything out and ready to go um, already on my blocks. Let me show you what we need for paper. All right, so we need sweet sorbet, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at three, uh, four and a quarter. We're going to need a piece of basic white for the inside, which is four by five and a quarter. We're gonna need most adorned uh, DSP. That is four by five and a quarter. This is one of the free uh, 12 by 12s you can get from Celebration with a $50 order. And then we are going to need a piece of sweet sorbet that is one and three eighths by four. You don't have to make this exact same dimensions. This is just what I ended up um, making mine and a piece of basic white, which is one by four. All right, and then we need the deckled circles. If you don't have the deckled circles, um, two and three quarters inch, and this is the sixth smallest of the deckled circle dies. And then we're gonna need the uh, two and a half inch circle as well for cutting our little scene here, okay? So then we need a white scrap to do all of our stamping on and it needs to be at least two and a half by two and a half for the circle and then we also need stamping for the cow and the uh, flowers okay so and there goes something off on the floor my water bottle okay that's all right all right so you can use multiple scraps if you'd like um, to do the cow head the flowers whatever okay the other thing that I am using is a post-it note. Um, I have ripped the edge a little bit just to make it a little uneven. And this is just a three by five uh, post-it note. And then of course we need our computer printout till the cows come home. And I went ahead and did the happy Valentine's day as well so that the font matched. Okay. And so that's what we need to get started. So now I guess what we'll do first is the stamping. All right, and we'll put this stuff aside right over there. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my little foam mat here because we're gonna be using photopolymer. And now if you notice on my card, the I love you is, is stamped clear to the edge over here, okay? Because um, we are going to be covering up most of this with the circle. So we're gonna stamp it clear over to the edge. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do first. We're gonna bring in real red. And the I love you stamp. And just stamp that clear over to the edge, like so, okay? All right, now uh, we're going to stamp, let me get these deckled circles here. Let me show you. All right, so these are the two we need right here, okay? This one, the bigger one is for the sweet sorbet and like I said, that's two and three quarters. This one is two and a half. So we need to make sure that we make our scene so that we can cut that out with the two and a half inch circle. So the stamping 
is going to need to be, if we do any other stamping, like the head or the um, flowers need to be over here. And we can certainly do that, or we can just use another piece. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and just stamp it over here. Um, I think that's totally fine. But we also need to stamp the cow body in about where we want um, the cow to be in our scene. Okay, so I stamped him over. It has to be over a little bit farther because you're going to put that head on, okay? So if I put this here, this is why I like to cut it out after I stamp because that way I know that I can get the cow in where I want him to be. But I'm still, I'm going to, I'm going to stamp him about right there, okay? So I'm going to bring in the Memento Tuxedo Black and ink that up and I'm just going to stamp him about right here. Or I should say her. She's got udders, so we know it's a girl. Okay. And then we're going to stamp the head over here because we're going to fussy cut that out. All right. And then the same thing with the flowers. We're going to stamp the flowers clear over here as well. Okay. So there we got our stamping. All right. Put those aside. All right, so what I'm going to do is, um, first of all, I have these two done and uh, cut out. All right, so I've got my little head. He's going to go on here. Got that done. And I got my little flowers. But I'm going to show you. Um, this is what I did. I colored. This is what I did right here, okay, if you can see. All right, so I just colored these little tiny, just the two little flowers on the side, the one in the middle, and the two um, little leaves. And I just left that off, and I fussy cutted everything else off just to leave this tiny little piece there, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is um, we want this scene to be... Um, Wait a minute, we're gonna color the cow first. All right, so what I'm gonna use is pecan pie, dark and light. I have a dark gray marker that's not stamping out. I'm gonna use that for the hoofs. And then I also have a very, very light pink that I'm gonna use for the udders, okay? And that is it, that's all we need for this, okay? So I'm going to do the udders first because they're the lightest. All right. And I'm going to do the hoofs. And the reason I'm coloring this first, it probably it may not make a difference, but I'm going to just um, ink over the top of the cow um, because it's not going to be very dark. Uh, it worked pretty well the first time, so that's what I'm going to do again. I'm going to use the dark for the spots and then the light for the rest of the hide. And his tail, her little tail end is going to be the dark one, too. All right. And then, like I said, the light for the rest of her body. As you can see, I'm not really a big one on blending. Um, I do blend a little bit, but um, these markers have um, a capacity. I mean, the, you know ability to really blend um, colors together and um, I have never really sat down and really tried to do that. Um, there's certainly some demonstrators out there that are really good at it um, but I just kind of color and I think it, it's partly because I don't have the patience for it and also um, with my neck I have to be careful about doing too much coloring. All right, so we're going to put that cow head 
um, over the top, okay, just make sure that it's colored enough so that you can get her head on there, okay, so that's good. All right, now, and I know that the coloring is not perfect on this because I'm not getting close enough to really make sure that I can see that I got everything colored, but hopefully that's good enough. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my um, sticky note here. So I'm going to have this circle about here. Got to make sure that the head's going to fit. Okay. So I'm going to put the circle about right there. So now I want her feet, obviously, to be in the grass. So I'm going to come up about to here. All right. I'll put that sticky note on there. This is all going to be sky. Okay. So we're going to bring in our... Uh, balmy blue and I forgot to get my balmy blue blending brush I think it's laying right here yes it is okay um, okay so I'm just going to first of all um, I'm going to stamp the sky kind of around her. Now, if you're going to use this head here, obviously, let me see here. I'm going to cut that off um, so I can use it on another card. Okay, so we don't want to ink that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sky. All right. I'm going to ink this um, sky piece up. Okay, and I'm just going to do a very light press here. I don't want it too dark. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in the blending brush. And again, um, you can keep in mind how big your circle is going to be. Um, you don't have to color all the way around here because it's just going to be inside this area. So right in here is where we need a little bit more fill of the color. But because this is a light color, you can really just kind of go right over the cow as long as you're not doing it too dark and you're not going to really even be able to tell. And I tried to stay away from the pink udder, you know, so that we don't get that blended in and turn it purple, you know. And um, that's all you need to do like that. And so when this gets cut out, you'll see that the sky is just fine right there, okay? All right, now... I'm going to take this and turn it around. All right, I'm going to cover up that like that, and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to bring in some garden green and some old olive. I did not, uh, I don't think I used the stamp on that. Um, I just inked it. So it really was not a big deal. Um, I just come in with some color. I'm going to do some garden green and then some old olive over the top. There we go. And then if you want, um, you can add a little bit more of a definitive line um, just to make sure I didn't do that here um, kind of go over the side like that just to kind of give it a little bit of darker at the top there and then you can also bring in your uh, blender pen and do the same thing and just kind of pick up some of that ink there and just make it more of a definitive line. Um, you could pick up some of the ink over where you're not going to have, where it's not going to show even, you know, just to do that. All right, so now we're ready to cut our circle. So I'm going to line this up, like I said, right about here. I have to make sure that my cow head's going to fit. She can, her ear can hang off just a little bit. That's no problem. So this is really good right there. 
And I'm just going to bring in a little piece of washi tape to hold that on. All right, I'm going to run this through. All right, there's our little circle here. And now we can assemble um, everything. So I did pop dot that head. Now I put her head, the original one, I think I put it over a little too far. So I wanna put it over a little bit and maybe tilt her head. I think it looks a little bit better with it's tilted. All right, um, but let's see here, my little mini. I'm going to use my, um, oh boy, let's see. I thought I had my um, regular dimensionals out. There we go. Um, because one of the big ones can go here. And then, you know, you don't even have to use a real um, one. I just, you can use a part of one. Um, just do like a little little tiny piece for her ears. Just be sure that you get it where you want it when you put these on because I tried I tried to reposition her head after I put that on and it just didn't, was not going to move without ripping so I just left it the way it was and you know of course I can put a little mini one right here too for a little extra support. So this time I'm going to be a little more careful when I put this down to be sure I get it really where I want it. Like I said, I kind of want to tilt her head a little bit. I think that looks so cute. She's so cute. And then of course we've got our little flowers that are going to go right up here. And that's why I didn't color in her um, little mane right there or whatever that's called. Uh, the darker because I knew that was going to be covered up with the flowers. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of glue here. And just stick that right on top like that. She's so cute. I just think it's so cute. Okay. Yeah, I get excited over my own creation sometimes, but it's just so fun. Okay, let me put my circle away here so I don't lose it. Don't want to lose a die. I lost one the other day. I knocked a set off. Um, the case flew open and the dies went everywhere. And it was a fairly big die. I couldn't find it anywhere. It took me, I don't know how long to find it, but I finally did find it. I'm like, wow, they, they fly a long way when they fall on the floor. Okay, so now we can put this on our circle here like that. And I'm just gonna use glue. Sometimes I use glue, sometimes I use tear and tape. It just depends. As long as you're using a very, very light amount of glue, it should not um, show through. But sometimes it does if you get too much. So there is our circle. All right, so now we can start assembling the rest of this card. I'm gonna get my sweet sorbet here. Fold that in half. Make sure that's good. Burnish here. And the most adorned is gonna go on here, like so. All right, and this is gonna go to the top. And then this is going to go on top of that. Now, I like to do this ahead of time because, look, I don't have this. It may not be quite right, so you may have to trim just a little off. So I like to do that first before I go gluing it on. And then, of course, our circle is going to go on right there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. I want it just kind of in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, on the original... I didn't want to cover up like a half of a um, of a heart and this is all one piece so the hearts are a little bit different on this one so I just don't want to cover up um, like a half of a heart so I'm gonna to go to about right here 
right there is going to be about perfect, I think. All right, so I'm just going to put some glue and line that up. And I did it anyway. I covered up half of the heart. Oh, well. But I do have this extra cut off. So, okay, my scissors. Cut that off right there. Like that. This has got a little bit too. Yeah. All right, and then this is the same thing. I'm going to put that right over like that. And this one, I think I'm going to use tear and tape for this one. I'm just going to put one strip right down the middle. Now, you know, I can do the same thing that I do around the edges if I wanted to, like this. Um, I guess I want to start on this end. Make sure we get that centered right across like that. All right, and again, just a little, just a tad too long. I don't know how that happens, you know, when you use the same trimmer, but it does. So that's probably good enough. And then I'm also going to use tear and tape for this. Okay, there we go. Now we can put this on. Uh-oh, that's the first time that's happened. Look at that. Okay, well, that trick didn't work very well, did it? And what did I get there? Oh, boy. I must have had ink on my fingers. I didn't think I did, but oh, well. The joy of handmade, right? Okay, so now I have to get this little backing off there. I don't know why that ripped. Okay, there we go. That's okay. And then we've got our little cow and if we put that up just a little higher that's going to cover that little smudge up right there so that'll work and i'm going to use tear and tape for this as well still i don't know how i did that but i've got some ink or something right there that must have been what it was sometimes i get ink and i don't know how i did it i didn't don't even notice it um i guess that happens to all of us Okay, so this, I'm just going to take all the backing off. If you get tear and tape around the edge, you can just flip it over. That's no problem. And then I'm going to put this, like I said, I'm going to put it up high enough to get rid of that little smudge there. Hide that. And just make sure our little cow is straight. There we go. There we go. How cute. I just think it's so cute. And then we've got our inside piece and our till the cows come home. I did take my um, um, little doohickey here for whatever reason. I'm not my dauber. Gosh, I don't know why I couldn't think that. And I just went around the edge a little bit with real red just to make it pop a little bit since this is added on and not stamped on. So I thought, well, make it look like it was supposed to be that way. Um, you could also um, line up your 
um, your printout so that you could just cut it right out and have it just printed right on there if you wanted to, but I didn't want to take the time to do that, so I didn't. Um, so then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to this. And put that on. Just like that. And then put that on the inside. And that is it. There we go. And there's our little card. Isn't it adorable? I think it turned out so cute. Um, like I said, I will put the link below to the original card that I got the inspiration from. It's completely different, a totally different cow stamp, um, but it is so cute. Um, I just love getting inspiration from other people. And uh, I hope that I'm an inspiration to you um, when you make your cards. Anyway, so that is it for today. And, you know, Valentine's Day ends up being Ash Wednesday this year. And um, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras is the day before Ash Wednesday. And living in the deep south here in Louisiana, um, I'm not a big Mardi Gras person, but I decided to make a Mardi Gras card. So that is going to be airing on Wednesday. So be sure to tune in for that because I think it turned out really super cute. If you're a Mardi Gras person and King Cake person, you're going to love it. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great day and God bless. Bye-bye.